Hey everybody, this is Quinn, aka Quinjitsu. And this is Ryan. Hey Quinn, why the quizzical look on your face? Well, don't quote me on this, but I query if the quotient of quiz creating questions has gotten quite quintessentially quantum quasi. Uh, what? I don't know. I'm just trying to use the letter Q as much as possible. Oh, I got one for you. Quit. <laughs> because today, we're going to show you how to make a quiz in the toy box. There are all sorts of ways you can go about this. In using a series of logic gates, you can make a full-on competitive quiz for multiple players. But for the purpose of this tips and tricks, we're going to show you a simple method to make a quiz for one player only. First thing is to place an action button and a scoreboard. Connect them with logic so that when you press the action button, it will reset the scoreboard. In the properties of the scoreboard, set the play2 number to 10. That way the max number of points a player can score will be 10. Now, set down three text creators. First, the player needs to know the rules. Connect the action button to the first text creator so that when you push a button, it will display the rules as line one. You can set the text creator's style to confirmation so the quiz will only continue when the player has read all the rules and is ready to go. When line one dismisses, you can have it display text line one of the second text creator, which will be your first quiz question. In the text creator, you can put in your first quiz question under properties as text line one. Por ejemplo, what year was George Washington born? This should be interesting. Everyone knows the answer is shh. Don't ruin it. Let's give the player two answer options, one correct and one incorrect. Also be sure to make the text style proposal. This will give the player two button options for choosing their answer, continue or cancel. To make things simple, we'll say that the continue option is for the correct answer to the question 1732, obviously. And the cancel option is for the incorrect answer, 1745, also obvious. Mm -hmm. To reward the player for choosing the correct answer with continue, choose that when text proposal accepted, they'll increment the player's points by one in the scoreboard. You can also have the text proposal accepted logic fire off fireworks from the fireworks cannon or other logic to make the player really feel like a winner. At this point, also say that when text proposal accepted, it tells the third text creator to display its text line one, which tells the player that they answered the question correctly. So what happens when the player chooses the incorrect answer with the cancel option? Back in the second text creator, set that when text proposal canceled, they'll get a buzzer or other equally insulting noise from the sound effect toy. Then connect it to the third text creator's line two, which tells the player they answered incorrectly. This will inspire them to spend more time in the library. Trust me, I know. Since both responses are in the third text creator, you can set logic so that when any text is missed, it will automatically trigger text line one of the fourth text creator that will display question two. Now you're ready to start the process over again. Continue the same process as many times as you need for all 10 questions of your quiz. And remember to occasionally switch up when continue and cancel lead to the correct and incorrect responses. When the player has gone through all the questions, you can invite them to press the action button to reset the scoreboard and start the quiz all over again. With the power of this toy box, you can answer such burning questions as how many breads in a baker's dozen? Was a wig a head covering or an 1800s political party? And how many hairs do I have in my majestic mustache? The world wants to know. Okay, that's it for this time. Leave any questions in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the Disney Infinity playlist for more in-depth tutorials on the awesome new 3.0 toy box.